Hi and welcome to another video. In this quick video I just wanted to go through the newly released beta version um, of the firmware for our Rapture GTAX 11000 uh, router. Um, so this has just been released two days ago on the 1st of February 2021 and it's around 65 uh, megabytes in size. Why they've released this beta version is because it contains important security fixes. Um, normally they would do with these beta versions is get them tested um, by not so much the general public but um, first they get them tested if they've got new features or anything like that so they can iron out all the bugs and so when you come to download it on your uh, router um, or, or in the app it's displayed there for a new version that there shouldn't be any problems with it. So why they've released this one is because it's around security and they're trying to get the fixes out as soon as possible. Um, so as I said with Asus, I think they've been really good, one of the best um, companies for um, for the routers for their firmware updates and continuous updates as well. Um, it's, it's actually been really good. I'm quite impressed with Asus on their constant updating um, of their uh, routers. But also again, this is a, a flagship router, so you would expect them to at least um, keep this up to date. So around the quick, quickly around the um, the actual vulnerability. So the vulnerability and security, um, what this these patches and fixes, is around a uh, DNS. So that's basically uh, a domain name system. Um, so what that does is, it's basically like a um, uh, an address book. Um, so basically, there when you type in www dot google dot com or amazon dot com or dot co dot uk um, that then goes out to the internet to the dns and the dns will then work out ah oh, that address is one nine two dot one six eight dot zero dot two eight eight just as an example um, so it translates the ip address into something that you are familiar with so you never have really have to remember all those numbers and everything. So it's quite a vital thing to have. And what they've found is that through this security flaw um, within the software, so basically Asus has many, a lot of other router companies and a lot of other uh, companies as well that make Internet of Things devices um, are using this open uh, source software um, that's done by this company. And of course, this company now have got the security problem, so they've fixing it so around there's around seven issues um, or security flaws um, they're found within this one piece of software that's used for the DNS there's two categories of it so the two are um, is basically around the vulnerabilities so you've got around DNS catch poisoning and buffer overflow so again this is something that's quite technical and things like that. So what you can say is that is that all three of the basically all the vulnerabilities result in that result in a DNS catch poisoning is a type of attack um, that could allow an attack attacker basically to inject um, malicious DNS entries into your catch. So what that means is uh, which could be used to redirect your network traffic and everything else. So that could put you, you type in, like I said before, uh, I think you go to google.com and you could be directed to a fake google.com website and you could be entering your details thinking it's secure and everything. Um, again, these vulnerabilities, I don't think there's something called a proof of concept. And I think right now there's no proof of concept code that's been made available for these vulnerabilities. So um, that means that ho hopefully it's made it more difficult for people to actually um, use these security flaws and try and hack things and things like that. Um, but again, it's good. It's Asus is rolling this out and everything. But again, this is beta version software. So it's just a warning that it may have bugs and everything else. So if you do rely on your router like I do for uh, working from home and then just for the daily use and everything else, um, it's not advisable. Even with the security flaw here, I'd say wait until they've actually fully tested it because you might come across a lot of problems um, and everything else within the software. Again, if you are down and want to download or try this version, um, this so because it's a beta version. Um, if I just show you here, 
Um, this one is making it clear here now that um, you can't just install it as normal. So if you go to your uh, router on the app um, or you go to the uh, through your internet browser, like I've done previous videos, and you go into your settings and you check for updates, it won't be available. Uh, so this is basically you'll have to complete a manual update. And the manual update normally is that you'll have to download this software and then it's normally done by a computer. So on your Windows or Mac, you go into the advanced settings like I've done uh, before, I showed you videos and you go in there and you manually upload the actual file you've downloaded. So the firmware file, you upload that. But also, most importantly, there's a lot of extra, uh, some extra steps you'll have to go through. Uh, so normally when you update the firmware, you just go in there, click the button, it'll download it, restart your router, and um, and then everything should be okay. Um, with this one, because it's a beta version as well, um, they're asking that you actually do a manual um, reset. So you'll have to do a factory reset of your uh, router. And so that means it will erase everything and delete everything from your uh, router. Again, you can, like in previous videos I've showed, where you can back up your settings. So then when you come to, after you've reset the router, you can then go back in there and as soon as you start up, it does ask you straight away on setup if you want to restore your previous settings. And then you can go in there and then you can restore them using the file, the backup file that you've saved previously. Uh, again, this is just a quick update on the new version that's come out here. Uh, again, um, you, you can download this. It's got the, I've put the uh, actual direct link to it as well. also the instructions it's got there where it refers to you. Uh, you have to use method two for the manual update um, for your uh, router. Um, but yeah, so basically I'll put some more information as well about the actual security uh, flaw that that's actually seven of them that's within this uh, DNS uh, open source software. Um, so again, this is just a quick video just to keep you up to date. And if you are someone that wants to keep um, you know, extra security and things like that, and you don't use your um, router, I suppose you, you can perhaps, I think because this is a beta version, I'm not too sure if you can downgrade. So just use it with caution. But if you really do want to um, upgrade to this version, because um, I think the previous current firmware is Enzyme 41700. So if you have a look here, you can see here, the last one video I did was around 41700 at Enzyme. Um, so this one has just come out um, and this one ends in 41994 and you'll have to manually download it. So again, this is just a quick video to show you uh, the uh, new firmware that's been released and um, reason why behind it because of the security issues and again i won't worry too much about it um but again if you are someone who's security conscious then you can download it and follow the instructions and i'll put more in the description about the actual security um, flaws and you can read more about it okay thanks for watching i hope you found this useful and uh, have a good day